Warren Temple, and I'm a data scientist. I want you to imagine there's a red circle on the stage. There's a timer counting down. There's an audience of experts and leaders watching you, waiting for you to speak. What words do you say? Or more importantly, how do you say them? Whether or not you ever give a TED Talk, whether you're a developer, a data scientist, or a recruiter, your job is to influence people and communicate. And so you need to know how to do that. I'm a TED Talks enthusiast. I've watched one a day for three years, and I understand that some TED Talks are persuasive, some are not persuasive. Some have changed my day, some have changed my life. But I was trying to figure out what were the differences. So to come back to the problem, our problem is our job is to persuade others. The question is, can we use successful TED Talks to learn how to become more persuasive communicators? The solution I propose is a data product that uses natural language processing techniques and statistical modeling to provide insights on how to speak, not just what to say. It's called Theodore Speaks. How to measure persuasion. If you visit TED.com and look on the side of any talk, you'll see a rate button that allows users to store their ratings. I web scraped all the TED Talks available through 2017 and found 2,628 talks, and indeed there was a variable called ratings that had 14 different rating categories in it. One of them was a count of how many users had called the talk persuasive, and another one was how many users had called the talk inspiring. My hypothesis is a more persuasive, inspiring talk is related to not just what people say, but how they say it. So how to break that down? To break it down, I thought about what people are saying. These are content words, like job, brain, computer. But then there's also how they're saying it, which are emotion words, like happy, sad, angry, and function words, social words, like I, you, we, and what. So first, let's think about these emotion words. In storytelling, in the mythology, there's an idea of the hero's journey, which is a storytelling framework in which a hero leaves, encounters challenges, a huge challenge, and then a, a final victory. I thought that to the extent that TED Talks follow that emotion course, they may be more successful. I also thought about function words. And here's one of my past research collaborators, James Pennebaker, talking about function words. Function words. We started to get a sense of who people are, what their relationships are, how they think about themselves, and how they connect with others. So, emotion words, function words. But how to represent the story structure? We have this transcript. Well, we can break it into four pieces. So we divided the transcript into four pieces, quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, analyzed all, all the words by category, put them through decision trees, random forest regressors and linear regression to come up with a linguistic signature of a persuasive talk, a linguistic signature of an inspiring talk. And the results are, for more persuasive ratings, there was increased negative emotion throughout the talk. For increased persuasive ratings, there were also more question words like how, when, what. For more persuasive ratings, there was a decreased use of the word I. For more inspiring ratings, there were more sad words in the second quarter. This is totally consistent with the hero's journey. The idea that when you're going through these challenges, there's going to be words like crying, grief, and sad. These were more inspiring. There's also more positive emotion change from quarter one to quarter four was related to inspiring ratings. Also, use of the word we was more inspiring. And interestingly, with the word I, and me, mine, and I, more usage of these were more inspiring. Here's a graph showing the uh, talk broken into quarters, and you can see in the second quarter there are higher sad ratings in these inspiring talks. So to conclude, an emotional journey is more persuasive and inspiring, especially when using these socially powerful pronouns. So how you speak is as important as what you say. Well, the app is called Theodore Speaks, and I'd like to show it to you here. You can take a look at theodorespeaks.com and take a look at persuasive talks, inspiring talks, or even high views, and browse through the talks to find the hero's journey pathway and a linguistic signature 
And you can actually visit the talks themselves through this, through hyperlinks. Down below, we've also got a predict persuasiveness of text, where you can paste in your own text. Here's Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream speech. We'll paste it into the box and hit submit. And indeed, Martin Luther King was persuasive to 76%. You can also find similar TED Talk speakers. This is based on linguistic style, so you could take a look and find a similar speaker, and it will display in the app. Matt Barnett, similar to Al Gore. Well, thanks very much for your attention. I'm Owen Temple, and this was Theodore Speaks.